Hello, it's Sarah, and I'm still in the basement. This is the grinder. I'm going to see if I can share this with you guys. This, and I'm stepping on a broken uh, plate, but this is what's underneath the grid. This is actually ground up glass. So let me turn this so I can see. Um, I just have this little scraper, but I got to get all this out of here. And usually it's wet because there's going to be this holds water, but it's so, it's been so long since I used it, it's all a powder. But I'm going to dump this out. Um, so see how much glass is in here. This is like I don't know. I mean, it's glass basically. But I'm going to clean this all off. Um, this is the grinder here, and then this goes on top, this grid, and again, like there's glass in here too, like there's all, I can see a bunch of it just falling off. Um, I should really take the time and clean it, but like that really helped actually, it got much cleaner. This is a little sponge that is going to be keeping the sanding disc moist and I just wanted you to see it before and then I'll turn it back on after to see if this was ready to go I'm just so impatient like when I want to do a, do it do something I just do it oh actually I think this comes off um so yeah, if I was doing stained glass all the time, I would have this ready to go. But I just wanted to show you because I took the top off and I just thought, I don't know how many of you have ever seen anything like this, a grinder. But I would even cut another little piece of sponge just from like a um, kitchen sponge. And then like I said, these, these are my little pushers that I push the glass up against the grinder with. But there's a little short, and look how worn down they are, because I'm so rough. Then this should be my bucket that I keep, um, I can't see what I'm filming, that I keep the clean ones in. So I'm going to clean this out. So when I come, and then I have a towel under it, and like I have this, um, there used to be a splash guard up top that came out this way that protected me from the splashes, but I wear goggles. Um, and I just, I broke it. It broke somehow and um, haven't replaced it. So let me get this all cleaned up and I'll be back and show you how I grind the glass. And I think I've done it before, but I might as well, I'm just going to do it again. All right, I'll be back. All right, I'm back. I don't know how to shoot this. This is the only thing. Um, actually, let's see. All right, I think it's going to be good. I'm probably going to splash the camera. But, uh Am I, I think I might run out of battery too. Let's see. Oh no, I'm good. Um, so I actually took this apart. I got my sponge working right and I filled the reservoir. It was all full of, um, what was it? Sand. No, it's glass, like ground glass. Put in, I had to put in two capfuls of this stuff, which I don't know why my but it's diamond coolant. I don't know why my bottle's doing that. I told you I haven't done this in a while. So whatever happens in the basement at night, that's why. All right. So this is ready to go. I'm going to put my goggles on. And I should have worn an apron, but whatever. All right. So, oops, let me put this back in. And you just have um, part of the little um, sponge touches the water. So we should be fine. That's a little big, but whatever. All right. Let me make sure I'm in the shot. I'm going to turn this so I can kind of see what I'm shooting. All right. And then turn it on. I have these two little things to help me. Now, I've, I've done this plenty. See, this is too big. It's going to drive me crazy. What I mean is it's holding this up, so that's just bugging me. There, that's better. I want it to be flat. Um, and I have a towel over to the side, so I keep drying my hands. But... I, and actually, that's blood. That's blood on the paper. Uh, where are where are we here? Anyway, let's just do this. Turn it on, and then I hold it. And you can see that I'm 
grinding the glass up to the paper. I don't want to take the paper. So just gently. I don't want to push too hard. because then your whole puzzle gets out of whack. You know, it's kind of like quilting. So if, you know, one piece is off by a smidge, and I definitely come down and do uh, touch-ups and stuff with, uh, I'll mark it with um, a paper towel. So let's see if I can. Anyway, then I take this and I throw it in this bucket of water. I have a little bucket of water next to me. So let's just do a straight one. red is showing around the edges so let's get in there there's a little bit of a learning curve with these things so you tend to want to put pressure in the front of it as sharp anymore so I can go in with my fingers and touch it. So I'm just gonna guide it along there a little better. And just see, so now we're really getting up against the paper. But that's basically it. So I've got to do each of the each piece of glass that way. I'll do one more and then I'm going to go off camera and do all of these. working on this all tomorrow because it's for a gift for my niece and I should have thought of it sooner um, but she's coming over on Thursday I think I can have it done by then
All right, you guys, my hands are messy. But that's basically it. That's how you grind glass. All right, and then I'll show you the next part. So then I've put everything over here in this tub of water here. Um, sorry. And I just, you leave it in the water and then these will just slide off. So my little, but see, it's kind of, it's a little harder to find out where I want to put it, but I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good with, um, so like I should take this upstairs and take off all the things upstairs and dry upstairs, but I'm just going to, so you just slide this off and I throw them in a little pile back there and just rub the glue off. So these are going to be all pieces of the puzzle. So I'll take them upstairs and I'll, we'll see how they fit. And then I'll finish up and, I'm, and then the next video I do, I'll, um, I'll be showing you how I foil all these with uh, copper foil and then um, I'll solder it and we'll be done. So it's exciting. It's exciting when you get all these pieces cut like this. They're all little puzzle pieces, and they're not sharp anymore because I just ground them all down. So I'm going to bring you back upstairs, and I'm going to show you oops, how I place them back into the uh, pattern. Got to dry my hands. All right, you guys. I'll be back in a minute. All right, you guys. I'm back upstairs. I'm going to grab a piece of paper towel and just dry these off. But, yeah. I would just bring that whole bucket up and as I took the paper off the the piece I would kind of put it in its place so here's my puzzle uh, these are what these are going to be up here somewhere right here we go this is a little chipped I don't love that but guess what there's going to be foil around the edges so don't get crazy over that it's so fun when you start laying it in into place and you see your work come to life. Um, this was nine, I think, over here. I'm going to do this tonight probably. It's, not, it's nine o'clock already, but I think I could do finish the grinding at least. I don't know. And then I'll be starting fresh tomorrow with the um, putting on of the, now where was this one? Right here. Somewhere right there, right? And then I only have this guy. So I will be back and I'll show you I'll get everything all ready and it'll be together and we'll put it together with the, um, this could be here, yep, this, this, I could play around with it, might go this way better, I'm not sure, that looks pretty good, oh my gosh, I get so excited. So I can't stop. I don't care what time it is. I'll be back. All right, you guys. Thanks so much for watching.